Hi, I'm Gareth and welcome to this video where we're going to be presenting the Music Matters theme Calypso style. I don't know what the weather's doing where you are today. Actually, as we're making this video, it's a pretty wet, miserable day here in the UK. So a calypso is maybe what we need to cheer ourselves up a little bit and to remind us of sunnier parts of the world. As you might have gathered, we've got lots of videos out there on the Music Matters channel where we're taking the Music Matters theme and trying to present it in a whole variety of different styles. So at one level, it's quite a fun thing to do. At another level, I'm just trying to show composers and arrangers how you can take the same musical idea and present it in such diverse ways as something that sounds ultra kind of modern and dissonant or as conventional as a Baroque fugue. And here we are doing something in Calypso rhythm. Well, first of all, if you want to write something in Calypso rhythm or you want to know what it is, what is the Calypso rhythm? And it's simply this. We present it in 4-4 and you can see already there's a bit of a syncopation in the first half of the bar. So this rhythm goes yatta ba dum ba yatta ba dum it's a very quick, easy rhythm to learn, actually, isn't it? Um, but you feel that little syncopation at the beginning of the bar. So what have I done in trying to present the Music Matters theme as a calypso? Well, the original theme is in 4-4, four, four, so that's quite useful. But we've got a very different rhythm in the original plan that doesn't fit with calypso at all. So in the original one, we've got... It's got syncopation in it, but in a different way. So I needed to reorganize the rhythm so that we could get it into a calypso rhythm. And once you've got the calypso rhythm going, you can run it in every bar if you want to, but actually sometimes in calypsos, you get a bar of authentic calypso rhythm if you like, and then you can do a bar of something else, which is sort of what I've done a little bit of here. So you can see what's happened in the tune. We've got calypso rhythm in bar one. And then we've just kind of sat back on it, got it back in bar three, and sat back in the same ways we did in bar two, got it back, and then another bar of it there. So you don't want to get into a predictable pattern of this bar does this, that bar does this, this bar does the first thing, that bar does the second thing. It just keeps the listener guessing a little bit, doesn't it? And then at the end, I've just let go of the Calypso rhythm for the very final statement here. So it just kind of smooths the thing into the final cadence. So is it an authentic Calypso? Well, yes it is, because it's using the Calypso rhythm, but I'm also trying to be a little bit inventive, a little bit creative around it, so that we don't just get struck in a, uh, stuck in a straight jacket where you've got the same rhythm going and all through the piece, because if all the parts are just going ya ta 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 ya ta 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 it's gonna feel as if it's in a musical straight jacket, isn't it? In the left hand, you can see that I'm trying to pick up on the calypso rhythm without using all of it. So in the left hand, we've got some rest. So we're going bum, ba dum, bum, bum, ba dum, bum, bum. So I'm kind of sort of using that through most of the left hand. I've just got the first time bar, I've slightly altered it by putting a note here instead of a rest, just so there's something slightly less predictable about that. Um, but, and we've got a slightly different ending there. So just a little sort of twist in the, in the bass line that otherwise holds fast to a rhythm that tracks the calypso a little bit, but misses out this note. And then we've got supporting harmony going on in the lower part of the right hand, filling out the chords, sort of tracking the calypso rhythm. So we kind of get plenty of music, plenty of the texture, working the calypso rhythm so we can hear how that's all going. I've changed the harmony a little bit, simplified one or two little corners, changed things like the diminished seventh chords that don't always come naturally in a calypso. So we've got enough that authenticates the calypso style. You could take this again in a variety of tempi, but um, quite often a calypso actually is quite a measured tempi. Not always, but quite often. So what does it actually sound like? 
I'll have a go at playing it. And then if you want to have a go at playing it, you're very welcome to try it. So here it is, Music Matters Calypso style. <laughs> There we are, a touch of sunshine with Music Matters Calypso.